Versailles Palace is one of the most important historic places in France. It has been recognized as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. The complex is situated 20 kilometers from Paris. It has been the royal residence of Louis XIV, Louis XV, and Louis XVI. The original residence was a small hunting lodge for Louis XIII and his family in the country, surrounded by dense forests. His son, Louis XIV, was marked in childhood by the Parisian riots known as La Fronde. When he grew up, the king moved from the Louvre to Versailles. The small lodge was transformed from 1661 until 1710 into an immense and extravagant complex surrounded by stylized French and English gardens. Everything about the building was designed to show off the power of the king. For decades, Versailles has been the cultural and diplomatic center for Europe. For Americans, Versailles isn't just a tourist attraction. It was also where Benjamin Franklin signed a treaty that helped form the United States. There are over 2,000 rooms in the Versailles complex. At its height, the court was home to 5,000 people. The ground floor of the central building was reserved for key members of the royal family. The first level of the central building contains the luxurious apartments of the royal family as well as various rooms used for entertaining guests and members. The king's chamber was used for the getting up and going to bed ceremonies. The room was subject to strict rules known as etiquette. The most famous room in the palace is the Hall of Mirrors. It was a place for both social events and demonstrating the political might of Louis XIV. The ceiling by Le Brun depicted a series of scenes glorifying the early years of the reign of Louis XIV. The gallery extends more than 230 feet and is characterized by 17 large arched mirrors. On either side of the Hall of Mirrors are two rooms, one called the Salon of Peace and the other called the Salon of War. Visitors looking through the central window in the Hall of Mirrors will see the Grande perspective stretching away towards the horizon from the water parterre. The palace has a royal chapel and opera theater built during the rule of King Louis XV. The royal opera was first used for the marriage of the Dauphin, later Louis XVI, and Marie Antoinette. Apart from the palace interior, you could spend several hours in the gardens. Behind the palace, the ground falls away on every side from a terrace adorned with ornamental basins, statues, and bronze groups. The walkways and paths of the parks are decorated with statues, vases, and manicured yews, and they are bordered by hedges and shrubberies. Among the chief attractions of Versailles are the fountains. Because of the scarcity of water at Versailles, elaborate waterworks were constructed at Marly le Roy to tap the Seine. The Orangery, a grove planned by Hardwin Mansart in 1685, includes more than 1,000 trees. Palm pomegranate, lemon, and orange are among the varieties represented. A 30-minute walk through the gardens will take you to the Trianon Palace, Petit Trianon, and the Queen's Hamlet. 
Reopened to the public in 2018 after extensive restoration works, the Queen's Hamlet was created for Marie Antoinette in her image of an idyllic country retreat. The royal family left Versailles in October 1789 and no more French kings lived at Versailles. Around 1830, King Louis-Philippe devoted an entire isle of the palace to the history of France. Historians claim that Louis XIV gave France two things, a famous tourist attraction and the luxury industry.